Well, liftoff looked pretty perfect, but since then, not so much. Zane Bergy, what happened to that Russian probe, and do engineers know what happened? No, they're still trying to figure out what exactly happened. They're also saying that one of the big problems is that they don't have enough data or information even relayed back from the probe to allow them to put it together. There are still so many questions like the burning of fuel into the atmosphere. Could that be, have been dangerous to Earth? And were there any fragments of the probe that then crashed onto the Earth's surface? So essentially, you just had this massive ball of fire that dove back to Earth, 13 and a half tons, Kira, a totally disastrous end. What the Russians were trying to do with this was basically land on one of the moons of Mars and then scoop up rock and soil sample and then bring it back to Earth for analysis. This was supposed to be Russia's big, glorious trip uh, to, uh, to, to deep space. Uh, that would eventually allow them to get onto Mars. So this has been a total failure. They're saying that they're going to expose the officials responsible for this failure. And many are saying what, what the Russians will try and do now is do joint ventures uh, with uh, the United States or other European or Western countries rather than go it alone. One of the worries for the U.S. and other countries too, though, Kira, is that they use a lot of the Russian equipment to launch things like satellites. And the Russians have had a lot of recent failures out in space recently. So um, people are concerned that there's some kind of systematic faulty situation uh, with, with Russian technology because of this incident, one of many failures. Well, yeah, Kira? I mean, NASA and Rus Russia are uh, working uh, very uh, closely, Zane. So we'll follow, continue to follow stories like this. Appreciate it. Thanks, Zane.